So can we begin? Lanterish? Are you here, Madina, Jahangir? Hello, yes. Okay. Uh, well, one second. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, good afternoon, dear participants and teachers. We are excited to see you all, to see all of you here. The second week is also coming to the end and we express our gratitude to you for being with us in this following time. So today we are going to learn how to develop students' writing skills in Padlet.com. We, of course, warn you to have an extra device with you, though you will have both instruction and practice at the same time. So welcome our today's, today's presenters, Mr. Jahonger and Ms. Medina Bono. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Farangis. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm really glad to see all of you here. So uh, today I'm going to try to give you some uh, ideas about some the tips and tricks about how to use Padlet and why Padlet. We'll try, I will try to explain this one. So uh, we, this is an agenda for today. Uh, we will learn about some introduction to the Padlet. So what is Padlet? We'll learn about this. And then we create our own Padlets. Then we have, we have a time to design our content. And we also can assign this content to our students. And at the, at the next part, in the second part, we have a competition. And we hope you will all participate in our competition. It is very simple and very easy. So first of all, let me ask this question from all our participants. So uh, do you have any idea about what is Padlet.com? If you have, please unmute yourself and share your opinion about this, your thoughts and your ideas. Yes, Grand Mayor, you're welcome. Please share what is Padlet.com. Uh, good afternoon, name. sir. Once more, may I speak? Yes, yes, you are you're welcome. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, padlet.com was the site special which can make online uh, testing system like formative, summative, and something like this. And if I'm not mistaken, one and a half month uh, ago, we had one special webinar in which uh, the Specialist from America explained about um, ExamSoft, Padlet.com, Kahoot, and whatever you said, Google Classroom, and something like this. They've explained mm -hmm. it uh, online resources for using the teachers during the online lessons and how to create and make more effective the lessons. I think that uh, Padlet.com also one of the sites which can we create our testing system for assessment or something. So what happened? You are you are you are not audible. Sorry, sir, I can't hear you. No, no, you are not audible. You was not audible. Now, now you are audible. You can continue. So, yeah, yeah. It is. It's not about testing. It's not about formative and assessment test. It is a platform. You will learn about is this. Yeah, a couple of minutes. Yeah, we have a kind of great uh, webinars and we have a lot of tutorials on YouTube. You can uh, watch them as well. And this is also one of the extensional, ex additional information about this to deliver this one to our content, our Uzbek content. So uh, that's why uh, I think this is a good platform we can use, and not only for testing, it's that you can create your own entire content and collaborate with your students. This is, that's why it's very uh, great platform. You will see this one. So any other ideas about this? If you have, please share. Or if you don't have it, that's well that enough and I will continue to introduce you the this website. No ideas, right? Okay. So in that case, you can uh, write in chat as well. I will uh, monitor the chat as well. So let's go into the website. Do we have something in the chat? 
Okay, let's go to the website. So I will quickly explain you, quickly introduce this website. This is a Padlet. We are in the Padlet, but don't worry. We will uh, explain you. We will uh, 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 show you how to register, how to create your account, your Padlet as well. But before this, we are going to the, show you product. What kind of product you will achieve at the end of the webinar. And that's why stay with us. So first of all, let me introduce something about for writing, how you can use it for writing classes. Here are some examples uh, created by one of my group mates. Just here's the writing. As you can see, you can write the question here and your students can write the, their answers. It's not about test, it's about kind of um, the essays you can use for this, as you can see here. Please pay attention to this slide. They can in insert images as well as a lot of things. They can, and the next question they will answer. And in this, you know, following this way, you will assign as a homework. If, for example, that person's homework, this is, this is. In this way, they also can add their homework to the website. It's very simple and very easy and very easy for collaborating with your students. In this way, they will go and you will monitor all the students in the one place. It, you don't need to switch student to student. That's why it's very easy to monitor and to see their progress, how they are going. So this is only for writing uh, ideas. You can write here any, any topics, any questions, and students will continue. At the same time, students read their each other's work, and they can get some ideas from their peers, and they uh, know and they monitor, they can feedback, they can write, they can rate it, for example. They can rate, for example, five, 10. This is also a good way to uh, make them, or even here, instead of rating, you can uh, grade them here, or vote likes you can collect the likes so this is a lot of functions you have and you will learn these functions uh, after a couple of minutes so this is about only for uh, writing and now let me show you for reading mm -hmm. here this one let's see this one it's going to uh, show it's going to show you yeah, here uh, let me start from this one okay here you can see that you, you can create your content from here, you yourself or your students as well. For example, let's see if you want to show some places in the Google map, you can show it like this way. For example, any city or any town with the help of Google map, this function you activate, you align this in the Padlet and students will see and students will uh, get to know a lot about these uh, cities. Instead of here, you can put any city or any place. You, they can watch, they can learn their self-study. Self this is for good for self-study as well. And you can come back. Here's only one option. And here is an article. If you assign articles to your students or here students can open and read their phones in this way, this is an article. Um, here is an article which you can, uh, your students can read. And, and then you can give some couple of questions related to this article and students will answer here. And next thing, which we, uh, this is also similar to this one and you, this is about article, uh, any article, any book, any online research, you can align with this platform. That's why it is very popular and very uh, efficient in teaching and learning the language. Mm -hmm. So let me come back and uh, here also YouTube videos. You can align the videos and you can give some couple of instructions about the video, about the question video, uh, what the video is about, some instructions and the students will write after the video or they can vote, this is good or not. And they also vote and they're here, they can write comments. Here, I hope you, can, you are seeing this one, right? This is about comments. You can write about comments about the video. Uh, if you if you have a such activity, or you can just watch a video here, and your students can open your video in the full size from here. I assigned only just cartoon. You also can do this or other video. It's it depends on your content, your students. And here is another thing. So uh, in this way, they are students. Uh, as you can see, students are write their answers and you can see who writes what and what they are uh, thinking and what their answer is about this. Uh, for example, they write feelings about after reading this article, they write their thoughts. 
in a short, brief way. You can ask in the same thing from the high level students. You can, they can also anonymize themselves or they can show their names as well. So this is about Padlet and I will explain you uh, all the here, all the things uh, you can see here and explain and I will have a practice time. You will practice yourself, uh, yourself. So please stay with us till the end so you, you will learn something about Padlet. So now I'm going to give you give the floor to the our my partner uh, Madina Konu and she will explain you how to register this site and we will continue. Madina are you here? Yes I am. You can thank you. You can take the screen sheet. You can screen share your screen please and show us to how to register website. Can you see my screen? Yes it's visible. Now I would like to invite you to watch our webinar and to practice simultaneously because right now you have an uh, opportunity to ask the questions. For example, when you want to sign up and when you want to use this website, you may face some challenges. But right now, if you practice, you may ask the questions. Please type your question in our chat or make some notes. At the end of this webinar, we would like to ask you to unmute yourself and ask your questions. Now, right now, please write padlet.com and click. The here, you can see a button, sign up for free. You should click this button. And you need Google account to sign up. you can choose your one of your Google account. I signed up with my own account. That's why I'll choose my partner's account right now. And you can choose the, uh, the basic and uh, the free version. Now you can see this page. And here you can see different options. First of all, make a Padlet. Click it. And here you can see different options like wall, canvas, stream, grid. You can select any of them and you can create your own uh, template. Yeah, template. Yes. Padlet. The next, you can join with a link. For example, if you have the link of the another Padlet, you can just join. The here, it's already one. And uh, my partner shared uh, the link with me. And I actually entered the Padlet and I can edit and I can make some comments as well. The here is another option, gallery. Here you can see different templates. You can view these templates and you can get some ideas, but unfortunately you cannot edit or revise it. Uh, if you like, you can just pay $10 and you can easily save and edit any of them. Here's another option, upgrade, uh, the here also. It's not free. If you pay, you can upgrade your Padlet as well. And the here you can see another options and you can change recent made, share it, like it, and new folders as well. Thank you. Now, uh, Mr. Honker will continue. Thank you. Yes. So now we are going to create our Padlets. Mm -hmm. Here you can create your make a Padlet. You can make your um, Padlet, but I have already five Padlet. That's why I couldn't create more because when you uh, enter the Padlet, you will have three, only three Padlets. And you can uh, use these three for different classes and different groups. So don't worry so, uh, so much about this. It's also good 
using the Padlet uh, free version. I used it uh, more than five or two mo eight months ago. That's why it is, uh, it at that time it was eight Padlet, but now it's reduced to three Padlet. But even so, it's good to use. And let's go to this lesson plan. No, here, this is about next thing. I, okay, let me show this one. You just create this one. And so here is a Padlet and I'm going to show you demo and the functions of this Padlet. Here the demo, uh, so here you can see the, if you choose wall, uh, if you are, cho if you chose a wall, uh, you can, you have an option like this, similar Padlet. And you can add the Padlet from here. Let's say delete this one and add one more time. Here you can add new posts. Just let's call this demo. And you have to write some couple of instructions. There is no word limit. You can write anything. Uh, you can write uh, write as much as much as you you wish. There is no word limit. And you can give ex uh, explain an explanation of um, the in activities to your students. And here will be title of your activity, or you can write warm up or uh, while plus activity as well. So here, let's get to know with these options. Here, the uh, you can see the four icons, and the icon that's similar to their meaning. For example, here you can you can guess you can upload some kind of file from your computer. Mm -hmm. If you click this one, if you click this one, you will see this. Uh, here you can see the uh, pick the file. Uh, you can uh, pick this file from your PC, like by clicking this one. It shows you the files, you can search, you can find any file and you can upload this file to your uh, Padlet. It's very easy. And next thing is uh, URL, URL address. You can uh, paste any URL to from the internet. It should start from this HTTPS, that's all. You can align everything here every content there is no difference uh, and here web search this is aligned with google and you can search anything from here let's search something about dogs i really like dogs for example dogs and you can push this click this button arrow button and you will see this one let's see from the first images uh, here that you have a couple of images which you easily uh, uh easily take this images to your content. As you can see, images here, you can edit and you can search, add something here as well. And next thing we are going to do is, mm -hmm. you can search anything you, you want. If you need some kind of videos about this word, if you are, uh, you can find here. Uh, here are all the videos about related to the dogs. And if you need some kind of gifts, you're welcome. Here you can find a lot of gifts about the dogs. You can assign this one as also, or if you need some kind of audios about this, your search about your content, you can find it easily from here. It's very simple and very easy to, you don't need to go to the Google and search this one and find and insert it. It's very simple. If you can simply align this one, it's very easy way. And next thing is about articles. If you want to read some kind of articles about dogs, you're welcome here. You can find all these articles about your search. And this is about only search button, just close it. And next thing is about camera. If you want to pick some kind of snaps, if you want to take some kind of pictures, you can take it from here. Just, it's going to start, yes, one second. It's going to use my camera and it's, make sure you have uh, given us to, I think it couldn't work because I'm using the web, my web camera to uh, this webinar. That's why maybe now it should work. Yes, ah, now it can work. So you can easily take kind of pictures, hello. Okay, you can save your picture, it's saving. As you can see here, the picture and next palette. Okay, and let's add here, if you, can, if you are seeing these three dots, 
three dots gives you more functions. From here, you can find a lot of functions. Let's see. So this is a similar to this one, the previous one. Upload file links, any links. You can uh, assign a link, align links from the internet. Google search, you, as, you, as I previously showed it. Snap, this is a picture. And next thing is about clay film. Here you can see the films. You can create your own film as well by clicking this. I mean, the videos. It's going to open, I think. Yes, it's opening. Yeah, it's opened. And you can, by clicking this, you can record your video and upload to your website, uh, no, upload to your uh, Padlet. And the students you can see and students get to know about the content. It takes some kind of times. So that's why I couldn't do this. But you, you are welcome. You can do it for your content. Uh -huh. And next thing is about uh, screen share, uh, voice, sorry. Here is a voice. If you want to give kind of uh, voice instruction, if you want to give your instruction in voice, here you can record your voice and upload it to your um, Padlet and students will listen and students will learn what to do. Uh, they have an idea about what to do in the lesson. Okay, just clicking this play and the save button, you will uh, save this one. You can revise it by clicking this one. Okay, and that's okay. And then you can save it. Here it's saving. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's done. Here your students can listen or they also can uh, send you some kind of voice messages. And this is also good for videos, voice as well. Uh -huh. And next thing, okay, where? Mr. Jahangir, I'm sorry to interrupt you. There is a question. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to find how to install photo and videos. Please, can you answer this question? It's not impossible. It's impossible. Why impossible? Here, what do you need? Uh, videos? And uh, yes, and and. If you are you, if you are going to upload the video from your computer, cl click this upload button. Let me show. This is a click this upload button. Where I can find upload button there. I've just created my new Padlet. Uh huh. You can just post. You can need. You need post. Uh, th th there is a kind of window modifying. Yeah. New Padlet. Yeah. And uh, there's standing icons, addresses, appearance, wallpaper, color scheme, font. But there is no button to upload a kind of video or photo here. You need to first post something. You don't need to go this way. Go this side. If you, mm -hmm. are, I think you are in this page, you are not, we are not talking about this page. We're just mm -hmm. talking about this post. You need first create a post and name uh, your post, name your post, for example, demo three or four, anything you can name your post. And here, upload your content, pick the file. Here, mm -hmm. the, pick the file and you find the video or anything from your computer and upload it. It takes some time if you are uploading videos. Uh, uh -huh. It depends on the file of your uh, your file size. Is it clear? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Can I continue? Yes, for sure. Thank you. And now I'm going to show you the next option is about screen share. If you want to, if you want students to do something uh, in the new platform or news uh, website, you want to show, you want to show your demo, you, you want to show your tutorial for them, you can uh, do this with this screen button. You can also record your uh, tutorial in the padlet.com. Padlet you don't need to search some kind of uh, <clears throat> the apps which helps you to create your tutorial. It's in here in the Padlet. You can just use it, that's all here by clicking this one. Sorry, just I will show you. Yep, a couple of seconds, yes. Here, yes. Uh, by if you can see for this, for this, you can it can ask you something before this, and uh, you need and you need to have an extension about um, Padlet mini extension to Chrome. You need to uh, align this one first, then you can uh, create tutorials on the Padlet. Okay, first you need the extension. It's very simple. You just, when you, uh, when you click this one, you will 
uh, it will ask you to uh, add this extension. And then you just uh, follow the instruction and you will get this one. And then when you have, you can just click this button and you go see and hear the options you have. For example, if you want to show something on Chrome or any browser, you, are, you can do this here. Or if you want to some kind of application uh, which is uh, running on your computer, uh, running on your PC, you are welcome. You can use, uh, you can choose any of them and you can record and you can upload it. Or you can use your Chrome here, any website. For, for example, here we have a lot of uh, the windows open. So you can choose any window and make tutorial about this window as well. So it's very simple. And uh, when you're done, you can just save and it will be in the inside of the Padlet. And I'm just closing, but I'm, it takes some more time because uh, the video content is a bit low, uh, high, hard content. And so uh, let's don't uh, consume our time, waste our time. Uh -huh. Next thing is about drawing. If you, are, if you are teaching the low level students, they really love uh, drawings. So students also can draw something, pictures. Uh, you can ask them to draw kind of dogs or cat, they can draw something. It's not that dog, but I just showing it. They can change the colors, any of this here. I'm just making fun here. You can do also the same thing. And you can erase them here in this way. It's very simple and very easy. And, and then you can save it. Or if you need some kind of blackboard, don't whiteboard, blackboard, here you can switch the words, white to black. If you want to uh, redo your work, you just click this one and it goes to back. It's clean and you can draw anything you wish. So it depends on your taste. And next thing, so just oh, give permission then, yep. Uh -huh. Next thing which we are going to learn is the location. Um, so uh, if you are teaching some kind of geography or some kind of countries and you want to show something to your students, you can do this one. You can search it here or you're just clicking by this. You can uh, share your place as well. You can change it to satellite view, for example, in this view, but you cannot uh, go to this one. It just gives you this pin or you don't, you can put this pin or not. It will disappear. We're carrying this one also. This is a lot of options. You can switch these options here. Let's find Tashkent. And by clicking this, you will you can search. Here is our lovely city Tashkent and you can change it from these roads if you want this one. If you need kind of uh, things, you can search it in this way. Uh, it depends on you, on your content. And now uh, next thing is Padlet. And the last thing is about next Padlet. You can align uh, to your uh, third or second Padlet with this one. It's very simple and very easy. So by just clicking, you can align. And, and this is about all these things about your students. Your students, you can uh, give them instructions like I did, and they also can do this same, the same thing. And now I'm going to share some uh, tips and tricks about you, about the teachers, how they can monitor the students, how can then they design this Padlet, this wall, and uh, time, uh, sharing the links, all the things I will, I'm going to share, I'm going to explain you now. So for this, uh, we need we have to this go to this gear button, gear icon. I think you are seeing this one. Uh -huh. Okay, here we have a uh, gear icon. Uh, please pay attention. This one it is very uh, essential for us to monitor our content. So let's go into this, and here. You can change the name of the Padlet here. If you don't need this uh, My Artistic Padlet, you can ch change it here uh, to whatever you want, but there is a kind of limit to words. You cannot write essays here, just demo. And you, have, you can give some descriptions about your uh, task. Uh, let's say 
uh, you can give here. You can give instructions here, and you can change the icons. If you are uh, if you are the person who likes icons, you're welcome. You can choose the icons from here. Any icon you can choose and pick and put it there. Here, let's put some of them. Uh, mood is good now, and just pick this one. Okay, here it's appeared, you see? You can put these icons, uh, any icon, not only these emojis, you can find the animals, uh, cooking tools, and methods, and vegetables here, uh, anything here, you can just click on travel, you will find here. And you can your own icon as well, if you wish. Uh -huh. And here the link, here the link, but you can money, uh, customize your link. You don't need this kind of unknown words. You can write your own. Uh, it's uh, okay, should be, that's it. Yeah, you can uh, write your own link and it could be understandable to your students. Uh, instead of uh, unknown words, unknown letters. Appearance, and now you can customize the wall appearance here. Here we have the this button. You can find the, a lot of uh, things here. Please uh, go into this and just go through all this and you will get a lot of things. Just I will quickly show you some other options. Uh, here you can choose anything. It's not paid. You can choose, you can take anything from here. Let me choose one of the, one of them. Mm -hmm. Let's choose this one. Seems good. Here, yeah. Okay, you can choose and you can change it to, to another. For example, you have a lesson with um, class 10 today and tomorrow you have a class nine. You can change the phone, it will be different. That's, this is also one way. And you can hear the other options. You can just click and you can customize according to your taste. Mm -hmm. we, let me come back here. <clears throat> And this is a color schedule. You can have white color or black one. Here, all this will be black, but we don't need black, we just need white. This is about fonts. You can change fonts to different ones. Here, you can do this one if you want to make something different. And so attribution, it showed the author's name to everyone who did this one. And you can, this is also good. Uh, to know uh, what your students are doing. And <clears throat> commands. All viewers command on the post. If you want uh, your students or uh, uh, command to each other, you should uh, activate this button, command button. Or you don't need, you just leave it blank as default. And the reactions. Here you can find a lot of re uh, reactions, which is good. So likes. Let's talk about the first likes. Here I activate like button and I'm going to save it. So I just close it. And now we have likes. You can uh, collect the likes. Students can, uh, if students like this and their students, their peers work, they can put likes or not. This is also counting. The, uh, if you can count and you can monitor how many, uh, how are they going, how they are reflecting to their peers. So in this way you can continue or if you want something serious, if you want something uh, wait, waitful, you can say vote or great as well. Stars, you can collect, they collect weights, they stars, or <clears throat> just mm, grades. Let's grade, you can customize the grade, for example, uh, five. If you, are for, if, you are, if you want to use it for schools, you can here write it. For example, five, that's it. Save this one and close. And you can see and you can put the marks. For example, let's say four, let's say five. In this way, you can continue to. It's very simple, very easy. And your, your students cannot change this one. Only the person who can change this one is you. And they cannot uh, customize the marks. Only you can do this, or you can un ungrade it. You can do this one as well. So it depends on your taste and your content, what classes or how are you going to teach. And the next thing is 
Anonymous this is I, I'm not going to suggest this one because it takes some kind of uh, approvals from your students and from your auditory. That's why it's not good to activate these buttons. And now, now, I'm, now I'm going to show you how to share this one. Just here in above, very top, you will find the button called share. I hope you are all seeing this button, small button called share. Right. From here, you can share your content. Thank By you. clicking this, you will have... Oh, Hello, could you mute yourself, please? Here is an options. You can uh, share by clicking cl uh, clipboard. So by cl this one, copy this one. It's cl uh, copied, URL copied, and you can paste to your Telegram channel or anywhere you want. This is a very simple and very easy way to share, or even the chats as well, you can share it. IQ generator, it's not strongly recommended because students cannot find always um, this one and they cannot understand well, how to work on this. Embed to your website, it's not also popular. Emails, also the same, Facebook. I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't believe that uh, teachers can share on Telegram, on Facebook. It's not good side, I guess, to share. And here, the next thing is good thing is about Google Classroom. If you are using Google Classroom, it's aligned with Google Classroom. You can just uh, assign it into your Google Classroom account. If you have a Google Classroom account, you just choose class. Let's say I'm going to assign it class 10B. So what it should be, it should be an assignment. It should be ask a question or make an announcement or create material. You can assign in this way to your students in the Google Classroom. So, and just go and click this go button and it, it will be there. You don't need to worry. And here is a, if you want to take this Padlet uh, into your PC, or if you want to share, if you want to take it and print it out, you can do this here, export. You can export it from here. You can export as an image, PDF, CV, like uh, Excel sheets, and here is also Excel sheets. You can save an Excel sheet or you can just print it out from here as well. This is an option you can take, you can choose. And if you want another teacher also can edit this one, uh, you can add the teacher's uh, username or email. Uh, email is good and give permission to that person to edit these things. And then that their collaborator can work with you and uh, work, you are two together work on one tablet and go make it very unique and very, very great tool. So you can pay and paste some uh, privacy icons here. You can make it private. You can give some passwords if you wish. If you want, uh, your Padlet will be in the public. Uh, you can put it here and it will be seen in the gallery button as previously Madina Bono showed. And you can change their role. Oh, what kind of visitors can do what? They can write only. They cannot edit. They cannot take marks or anything else. Or if you want, they just want, if you want your students just to read something, you can do this way. You can allow them only reading or writing here. Or you can, if you want to edit something on your works, if you are sure to this, you're welcome. You can do this here by clicking this one to let them edit your work. But I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to, I'm going to, my students want to work only right. That's all. This is about permissions. So if you if you change something, it will be appear here, save button, and you will just click this one and you will, uh, it will be saved. Let's come back. Uh, I think I explained every detail here. If you have any questions, please ask. And if you don't, we, we are going to go to practice time. In the chat, in the if you unmute yourself or ask you can directly from me, I do my best to answer your question. Let me see the chat, please. And the Mr. Jahonga, can you show how to align the links of the websites? Sorry. Links, how to align links of the different website, the useful website. Um I think it, it takes time. Let's do, let's practice. Then I will share it in the channel. Mm -hmm. So, and now I'm going to 
play some days. Madina, can you explain the rules of this game competition? Yes. Here you can see days of the week. Do you remember when, what day of the week you were born? The so, here yeah. it, yes, I remember, for example, I was born on Monday. The here you can choose that day and you are required to design your own lesson plan. First of all, you will add your name, then you will add different resources. Uh, Mr. Jahonger has shown you different ways and you are required to design your own lesson plan. They actually, you are uh, required to upload the pictures, uh, some resources, links, and assign uh, some tasks. Yeah, it will be seen here. Yes. Yeah, everyone should uh, write the uh, should write any something content and please create your content according Sorry. to your the day you was you were born. The task is clear, right? Here are the, all the days. For example, I was born on Saturday, so I have to write here. And other person also will see, and we can vote, and then we can have a time to vote uh, or just get link, likes as well. It's not actually a lesson plan. There is a question. I don't. I don't know how to make a lesson plan. Yeah. And that's why you are required only to add some resources. For example, you can add some links, some pictures, or some tasks. It's not the whole lesson plan, but you are required to develop some activities or to design tasks. Yes. Yeah. In this way. Thank you, and I'm going to share it in the chat. This uh, link, and you can you can use your computer, laptop, or phone. It's very simple. You can just yes. See here, you can see days of the week, and you can see here just the icon plus icon. You can click it. You can add your name, and you can continue to add different resources or activities. Thank you. Yeah, this way you can continue. Yes. Just quickly delete this one. Please so, uh, they follow the link and join well, us. Yes, great. Thank you. All they are joining us. So I'm going to share it on the channel as well. You can find it on the channel and group as well. I shared it. Great, great start. Good. What about Tuesdays? Who born on Tuesday? Wednesday we have also. Please do your best. It's simple. If you have a question, you can ask on the chat. I'll try to answer. Yes, it, it, may, it may seem complicated, but it enables us to make our lessons less difficult and more enjoyable. Just start and follow our instruction. Yes, thank you. Yeah, if we can monitor our students by here as well. Yeah, we have a Tuesday as well, right? Add something, just try to add something and then you will learn and you will have a content. What about other days? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Great Sunday. Wednesday we have a wonderful day. Yes, great days. <laughs> Very simple, very easy. Aziz, could you unmute yourself? Thank you. Now we are we are having a content. Great. 
if you are not in this, please. It shows you in this way, it sends some kind of messages to remind you your students is working. Great picture. I like it. I love it. Great. Great articles, great pictures. Where is this one? This is a place. You can write the name of this place as well. That's also great. English message, great. What about Thursday? We don't have anyone who was born on Thursday. Oh, we have, great. What about Saturday? Only me? Great. Do something, well, gifts. You see, this is a gift. Great, I am the teacher. Great, you are a good teacher, I think. Great, hello, hello. If you want, uh, if you like others uh, options, you can uh, put likes as well, like I'm doing. I like um, most of your work, all of your works. I'm just ticking the likes here. There is no limit to put the likes. You can also put likes to your peers, how they're working. You can just encourage them by clicking this way also. Here is a picture, very beautiful picture. Wow, great, great pictures. Yeah, you can customize the color. Yeah, this is, a, I forgot about this thing. Yes, this is, we can also customize from here. Yes, that's also we can do by clicking the about. Different colors we can make. Thank you. Wow, great car. Weekend stars, great. You can use it for your with your students, and you and you can make fun some with them. I, I think it will be interesting for them. For example, I use this one to my students, and it was very great. This is easily you can engage your students to the content because they they really love using technology. Great contents, please likes if you like. Yeah, here we have two likes. Great. If you like some of them, there works. Your peers just click this like button. And we'll see whose work is good. This is also a good picture. And also look at your Zoom as well. We are having a great contents now. And it, yeah, you can also see this one in the uh, this page as well in your in the Padlet as well. world and if you click this one of these and you will see their work in the extension version and it will be great it will be helpful for you to analyze their work 
don't see this picture. Yeah, great picture, right? Yeah, white, instead of white, you can use just blackboard as well. This is good, seems good. As you are working, your students also work like this way. What is this? Picker wheel, that's good. You're welcome, one that, thank you. So if you have a question, please ask. I'm going to, I will do my best to answer this question. And we have two, two persons, uh, three icons right now. Good. Wow, we have a lot of con contents here. Teachers make the world a better place, I'm sure. Yes, that's great. You're welcome. Webster, yes, Webster. Good, okay. So any, any questions, please, if you have about this Padlet, how to use in the chat we have. You're welcome. Now I'm going to move to my slides. Uh, this is about Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, I'm, I'm, I will continue and answer your questions. If you don't have, please pay attention to the last time I will show you. This is the content which we created now. Please look at the content on your Zoom and you will see the content which we created right now. And you can also use it uh, with your students and it will be very useful, I believe. And please try this website as well. And you, if you have any kind of questions, you can watch rewatch this one as well. Or if you have, if you type on YouTube, you will find tons of videos about this and uh, webinars as well. And you will have an idea about this. Yes. So this is the content which we created. A very good content here we created. I guess um, I, I I think all of you learned about this. It's a very simple website and very useful and efficient. Someone. Jahangir. Okay, you're welcome. You can watch. Yes. On YouTube, Akhrajan Sabirif is asking. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Akhrajan Sabirif, uh, Akhrajan Sabirif is asking how to write. Uh, on Padlet. He's asking, how are you writing Mr. Jahangir to Padlet? Uh, if you want to create posts here in this... Mr. Jahangir, so sorry for disturbing you. I already mm -hmm. asked and you explained me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Ah, that's it. Yeah, you I answered, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, in that case, it's okay. Yeah, good. Okay. So... Uh, if you don't have questions, I think it's high time. Mr. Jahangir, just no, Mr. You don't need, no, you don't like need to, to share. No, we can. We are seeing uh, his work here. Mr. Ulbik, you can watch it on the Zoom and you can watch it here on the screen. We are monitoring all of them, all of you. You can tell me your work, I will show it. What, what day you are, you were born? 
Uh, I think he has created her, uh, his own page, I guess. Ah, in okay. that case, yeah, in that case, I will yeah. select. Yeah, sure. Can you share your content with us? Yes, you can share, Mr. Ulbig. Very colorful. Yeah, you can customize the con uh, spawns here, like padlets here. That's great. Thank you. That's good. Is everything clear, right? If you have a question, please ask. I will do my best to answer this. Thank you, Mr. Ulvik. Thank you. Here, uh, not only will you uh, enhance your students' language skills, but also you can develop your uh, students' digital literacy competencies as well. And we highly recommend you to use this uh, website and uh, create your lessons more colorful. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, sure, and I really believe this one. That it works. If you if we try, it works. So it's high time. I think, but I'm doing my right. This is time. Yes, good. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, all dear participants, uh, for your being active with us and participating in this webinar. Uh, we really uh, appreciate your um, being with us. It was great. Uh, if you are here with us, it means you are going to learn something and new and, and, and have a good day to all of you. Uh, if you are not have a question, I'm going to stop this webinar. Okay, thank you so much for the handy and productive way of teaching writing too. Thank you, thank you, you're all welcome. Thank you.